When it comes to the future of food in our nation, there's cause for concern. This prompted unlikely allies from across the food industry, government, civil society, and academia to begin talking. The idea was to start looking forward to get their heads around different perspectives and work together as a collective of people from across the food system who could take action. They envisioned future scenarios about four make or break issues, natural resources, production, political economy, and nutrition, and looked at how these might unfold in South Africa over the next 15 years. Imagine that 2018 represents the 10th year of unromantic candlelit dinners, thanks to the rolling blackouts. The rent continues to plummet while water costs rise. Continued energy insecurity means that farmers, particularly small-scale farmers, take a big knock as their input costs surge. By 2019, almost half a million additional land claims have been lodged, filling thousands of heads with dreams. But progress has come to a grinding halt. Frustration grows. With little education on nutrition, quantity of food is favored over quality. More South Africans opt for cheap, tasty food that is low in nutrition and readily available. By 2020, land invasions escalate. They've moved from random occurrences to orchestrated events scripted for the cameras. The result is fear in some and hope in others. Many commercial farms are abandoned and the farmers emigrate. A Russian nuclear tender is successful and building starts in 2022. The costs of the build go through the roof. Those concerned about food security worry that nuclear spend will take away from investment in water infrastructure, small-scale farmer support, and social grants. By 2023, we are in the throes of a drought. Water restrictions are common. Those who can afford to invest in boreholes do so. Those who can't, queue with buckets. Food prices increase and more South Africans go to bed hungry. Education outcomes are suffering as teachers battle to teach hungry, unwell children. Hunger is the match that lights the fire and there are threats of widespread riots, the outcomes of which may make Marigana look mild. Could it be that dire? Is this really what we're in for? The future is wide open. The worst of these crises can be averted. The thing is, the food system is not simple and nor are the solutions to current challenges. The vital provision of food through the food system is not a linear process, but the contested outcome of a really complicated system. This calls for a response that isn't simple either. The response is one which will pull us out of our comfort zones. What if? Having thought about the future in this way, you, watching this now, gave some thought to what needs to be done. What if we actually started to communicate, government departments, business, labor, NGOs, you and me, in such a way that we could think and act outside the box, looking at the bigger picture, acknowledging tensions, demonstrating teamwork, and creating courageous solutions together. Because it is together that we have the power. It is together that we can avert the looming crisis and deliver good food for all.